Let's bring in Jonathan Sacerdoti, who's keeping an eye on what is happening across Europe tonight. So, Jonathan, how bad is the situation in Italy at the moment, and how is it being contained from spreading across Europe? Well, in the past two days, Austria, Croatia, Greece, Norway, Switzerland, Georgia and North Macedonia reported their first coronavirus cases. Many of them involved people who had been to Italy. Italy's seen a rapid rise in confirmed cases and is the main focus of infection in Europe. It's seen a 25% surge in just 24 hours, with the total now at 400, as you said, a rise of 80 since Tuesday night. According to the World Health Organization, the virus is now spreading faster outside China for the first time. Northern Italy is where the virus seems to be concentrated and that area borders France and Switzerland. Tens of thousands cross that border with France every day. While virtually all traffic is banned from entering or leaving 11 red zones in Italy where 55,000 people live, many of the new areas experiencing cases around Europe can trace their infections back to Italy. And part of the problem is that despite checks at Italian airports, it's still possible to drive across the border into other European cities without being checked at all. The European Union prides itself on freedom of movement with the Schengen area allowing Europeans to pass in and out of countries with no checks at all. So when it comes to containing the spread of the virus, many are therefore afraid of potentially uncontrolled cross-border contamination. All right, Jonathan, give us a sense of what is being said to the public in Europe and perhaps even in the UK to reassure people. Well, the World Health Organization still says that containment is possible and a global pandemic is not inevitable. Uh, the fact that China now seems to be reducing the number of new cases it diagnoses every day may mean that containment policies are working there and may work across the rest of the world too. Across most of Europe, for example, here in the UK, the official advice is designed to prevent the possible spreading of the virus, but without causing people to overreact. Uh, as well as avoiding a pandemic, governments also want to avoid causing unnecessary social and economic damage. One mm -hmm. of the main problems, though, in containing that spread of the virus is that screening doesn't necessarily pick up most of the cases at airports and the like, because a new study published in the eLife scientific journal has explained that unless someone has symptoms, screening them will not detect uh, that they are carriers. And that means they could be spreading the virus. Uh, and one of the authors, Dr. Adam Kucharski, right. an infectious disease epidemiologist, said that that means it could be spreading really in an uncontrolled way. All right, Jonathan, thank you for that update live for us in London. Jonathan Sacerdoti.